be a big moment for Robbie um, tomorrow, 250 games, and West Tiger, the first guy ever in the history of the club. Um, <coughs> we've all had debuts, and um, yeah, we've all debuted, and I think we all probably think the same thing when you make your debut, it's like it's the biggest game you've ever had, and I'm sure Robbie's the same, but couldn't imagine he'd ever going to play 250 games. Not just that, for the Tigers, but you know, obviously the, the other storyline now is, you know, he's probably never thought it was going to happen. Um, when he got so close as well, so, um, but for such a big occasion, we wanted to bring someone in who, um, I guess, was uh, not, not only close to Robbie, but had a, uh, a big effect on his career. Um, Royce, he's um, um, is 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 actually, he wouldn't mind like me saying this, but he's actually a true legend of the game in, in many respects, not just not just because of you know, what he did as a player, he played a million games for, for the Panthers, I think, 10 each for New South Wales and Australia. Um, playing for Australia with all with an incredible time where there was just gun players everywhere. And I think everyone I've ever spoken to about Royce um, as a player is they just everyone loved playing with him. I'd like to thank everyone for giving me the opportunity to come down. It's pretty special for me to come here and give this to Robbie. Um, over the moon, mate, to get the chance to give it to you. Um, but I didn't know his rate of strength at that time, and that was. Uh, Hated getting beaten, he could play for Australia in the hate getting beaten side. <laughs> He'd be captain of that. <laughs> and, uh, I, I thought, Jesus, I, I like this in a, in a player. And he, so he took everything personal with it. You know, the side, the side got beaten the weekend, he'd take it personal. And what he'd do about that was he, he just he made himself a better player. Um, um, through, like when he came to, to grade, again, through this drive, because you had to get beaten. He wasn't big enough, you know, he, he, he wasn't strong enough, um, he wasn't uh, fit enough to play 80 minutes, but he changed it all. He changed it all in a, in a few months and made himself like it because he's professional. His defence wasn't good enough at the time because he came to grade, he was known as an attacking player, come to grade, um, after training, every trainer, 18, 24 sets of tackles, lined the blokes up one after one, did the tackles, hundreds and hundreds of tackles. And he changed that into a bloke that makes 40, 50 tackles a game now, no problem whatsoever. And even things like his kicking game, short kicking game, wasn't probably quite as good as what he'd want with the kicking coaches, worked with it, fixed it up, made it into, instead of kicking dead all the time, in around in goal, getting repeat sets. So through his hatred, he's developed this fucking way to succeed. Cause, and because of all that, mate, you, Every week, you make sure you're ready to play. You're a true professional. You know you play close to your best every game because you prepare to get to get ready every week. And because you've done that, mate, you've won a premiership. You've played for your state. You've played for your country. If you get off your ass, you might be able to win one more premiership. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, first of all, um, thanks Royce, mate, for coming today. I couldn't have asked for a better bike to come. Yeah, mate, I, I don't think you understand. I, I wouldn't have got to where I am today without you, mate. I think if anyone asked me um, who's had the biggest influence on my career, without hesitation, I always say Royce Simmons. Um, you spoke about my preparation, my training uh, ethic and, and all those things, mate, and I think you instilled that in me. I still remember, and to this day, I still... You told me to do something uncomfortable every week, whether it was get out of bed on your day off and go for a swim in winter at six in the morning, because uh, your mind didn't want to do it, but physically you make yourself do it, because on the field sometimes you've got to do things that you don't want to do. And, um, to this day, I, I still every week try and try and do something tough, and um, that's something that you instilled in me, mate. I, I hung on every word that you, you said when you were coaching me. Um, being an ex-hooker yourself, mate, you, um, mate, I wouldn't be the player I am today, and I, I wouldn't be standing here playing my 250th without you, mate. So, um, yeah, thanks for being here today, mate. It means the world to me. So, I, right, mate, thanks for giving me the opportunity to come back and play my 250th, mate. Like you said, I, I never thought it was going to happen. And, mate, I think all the boys know um, how much I love this club. And to leave uh, Hurt and to be back now is, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty special. So, um, all that aside, boys, um, I've, had a fair, I've had a return game. We've had a first game back with Benji. And, yeah, I've got, <laughs> Every week.
that's all right. Sorry about the milestone and all that. Um, it's all nice. And you know, warm and funny, funny feeling and that. But um, you know, it's important we go out tomorrow and, and win the game. You know, so um, as Roy just said, I hate losing. I take it personal. Always, um, always have, always will. So let's walk off the field tomorrow, tomorrow with a winner. Yeah. Yeah.